Hi everyone, welcome to today's workout. This is a 15 minute fat burning and full body toning wall pilates workout. With this first exercise, lie far enough away from the wall so that your left leg is at a right angle when your foot is rested against the wall. Press your lower back into the floor. As you raise up, lead with your pelvis and squeeze your glutes. Make sure your heel doesn't come off the wall. If it does, slide out a little further. Extend your right leg up, squeezing your quad. Repeat this on the other side. With this exercise, again, keep your lower back pressed into the floor. Extend your right leg up and slowly and controlled, lower it to the side, keeping your leg straight. Don't let your body twist as it lowers down. Control it all the way back up. Repeat this on the other side. With this exercise, slide far enough away from the wall so that you can comfortably slide up and hold this position without straining your neck. Keep your glutes squeezed and core contracted. Perform the circular leg movement and extend it right up. Remain in the same position, but this time your left leg is bent with your left foot flat against the wall. Push up towards the ceiling with your pelvis, but don't arch your back. Keep your core engaged, really open through your hips in the circular movement.
repeat this on the other side. Remain in the same position and this time you're pushing upwards, leading with your pelvis, squeezing your glutes, then controlling yourself back down. When you come back down, press your lower back into the floor. This exercise is almost the same as the previous, but this time your pelvis remains raised. Perform small pulse movements. This keeps the resistance on your glutes and hamstrings. Make sure to keep your core tight. You should really feel the burn through your glutes and hamstrings. Okay, with this next exercise, keep your core engaged and make sure your pelvis remains raised. In a controlled movement, lower your leg to the side, then as you raise it back up, bend your knee towards your chest. Your pelvis shouldn't dip, make sure you keep your core contracted. Repeat this on the other side. Now this exercise focuses primarily on your core and abs. 
Keeping your lower back pressed into the floor, perform slow controlled crunches, squeezing your abs at the top of the movement, and control it back down, bringing your arms above your head. Extend your legs up the wall and slide in so your glutes are pressed against it. Again, press your lower back into the floor and make sure it stays this way right throughout. Perform slow crunches reaching up towards your feet. Control it back down. Stand up and press your back against the wall and sitting at a right angle position with your legs. Hold this position and press your lower back into the wall. You should really feel this burning through your quads. Now we're coming back to the floor, this time lying on our front. Reach out in front of you, then bring your hands just under your shoulders and press against the floor, raising your upper body off the ground. Keep your elbows close to your body to ensure your shoulders and triceps are really worked. Come to a plank position with your feet pressed against the wall. Push upwards and back through your arms and leading with your hips. At the top of the movement, stretch right through your back to a full extension. Feel that nice stretch through your arms and spine and control it back to a plank. For this last exercise, come to a push-up position with your knees raised off the ground and feet pressed firmly against the wall. Your hands should be in line with your shoulders. Keep your glutes and core squeezed right throughout. Extend your arm up and slowly twist to the side. This exercise requires a lot of control and is excellent for building full body strength and control. Make sure you don't sink through your hips or arch your back. You want to keep your back and pelvis in a straight position.
Thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Make sure to hydrate and I'll see you next time.